a Wikivide documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Mary Lou Retton Mary Lou Retton Kelly is a retired American gymnast. At the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles, she won a gold medal in the individual all-around competition, as well as two silver medals and two bronze medals. Her performance made her one of the most popular athletes in the United States. Retton was the first ever American woman to win the all-around gold medal at the Olympics and was the only one to do so for 20 years. She is credited with being a pioneering figure in American women's gymnastics, including by the four American women who have since equaled her feet consecutively, Carly Patterson, Nastia Lugan, Gabby Douglas, and Simone Biles. Twice during that span, Americans also took silver as part of a 1-2 finish, Sean Johnson in 2008 and Ali Raisman in 2016. Furthermore, prior to Retton's Olympic triumph, no American woman had won all-around gold at the World Championships. Since then, eight Americans have done so a combined 11 times in chronological order. Kim Zmskul, Shannon Miller, Chelsea Memel, Sean Johnson, Bridget Sloan, Jordan Weber, Simone Biles, and Morgan Hurd. Even more impressive is that Retton won her 1984 medals after she had recovered from injuries that otherwise could have ruined her athletic career before it even began, though it must be noted that Retton won her medals at a Games boycotted by the Soviet bloc, the powers in gymnastics at the time. Personal Life Mary Lou Retton was born on January 24, 1968, in Fairmont, West Virginia, and is of Italian heritage. Her father, Ronnie, operated a coal industry transportation equipment business. She attended Fairmont Senior High School, but did not graduate. She competed in the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles, California, during her sophomore year of high school. She grew up in a Christian home. She and her family attend Second Baptist Church Houston. Retton lived in Houston, Texas, until 2009, when her family returned to West Virginia and again moved back to Houston in 2012. She is married to former University of Texas quarterback and Houston real estate developer Shannon Kelly, who now works for the Houston Baptist University Athletic Department. Together they have four daughters, Shayla McKenna, a current NCAA gymnast at Louisiana State University, Skyler, and Emma. Gymnastics career Retton was inspired by watching Nadia Comaneci outshine defending Olympic two-event winner Olga Corbett on television at the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal, when she herself was eight years of age. And she took up gymnastics in her hometown of Fairmont. She was coached by Gary Rafalowski. She then decided to move to Houston, Texas, to train under Romanians Bella and Marta Caroli, who had coached Nadia Comaneci before their defection to the United States. Under the Carolias, Retton soon began to make a name for herself in the U.S. winning the American Cup in 1983, and placing second to Diane Durham at the U.S. Nationals that same year. Though Retton missed the World Gymnastics Championships in 1983 due to a wrist injury, she won the American Classic in 1983 and 1984, as well as Japan's Janichi Cup in 1983. After winning her second American Cup, the U.S. Nationals, and the U.S. Olympic Trials in 1984, Retton suffered a knee injury when she was performing a floor routine at a local gymnastics center. She had sat down to sign autographs when she felt her knee lock, forcing her to undergo an operation five weeks prior to the 1984 Summer Olympics, which were going to be held in Los Angeles the first time the Summer Olympics had been held in the United States in 52 years. She recovered just in time for this most prestigious of tournaments, and in the competition, which was boycotted by the Soviet bloc nations except for Romania, Retton was engaged in a close battle with Ekaterina Sobor of Romania for the all-around gold medal. Trailing Sobor by 0.15 with two events to go, Retton scored perfect tens on floor exercise, and vaulted the last event in an especially dramatic fashion as there had been fears that her knee injury and the subsequent surgery might impair her performance. Retton won the all-around gold medal by 0.05 points, beating Sobo and becoming the first American to receive the all-around gold medal. 
She also became the first female gymnast from outside Eastern Europe to win the individual all-around gold. At the same Olympics, Retton won four additional medals, silver in the team competition and the horse vault, and bronze in the floor exercise and uneven bars. For her performance, she was named Sports Illustrated Magazine's Sportswoman of the Year. She appeared on a Wheaties box and became the serial's first official spokeswoman. In 1985, Retton won the American Cup all-around competition for the third and final time. She retired in 1986. Political views An ardent Christian conservative, she was an outspoken supporter of the Reagan administration in the United States. She appeared in a variety of televised ads supporting Ronald Reagan as well as appearing at a rally for Reagan's re-election campaign just a month after the Olympics in her home state of West Virginia. Retton delivered the Pledge of Allegiance with fellow former gymnast and 1996 Olympic gold medalist Kerry Strug on the second night of the 2004 Republican National Convention. Compensated Endorsements During the 1990s, Retton worked as a spokeswoman for the U.S. drugstore chain Revco, appearing in advertisements for it. Retton has many commercial endorsements, including bowling and shampoo. She was the first female athlete to be pictured on the front of a Wheaties box, and General Mills stated that Wheaties sales improved after her appearance. She is a frequent analyst for televised gymnastics, and attended the University of Texas at Austin after the Olympics. The USA Gymnastics Scandal Retton was thrust back into the spotlight when the USA Gymnastics sex abuse scandal hit the news in 2017. When the Sex Abuse Act of 2017 was introduced to the 115th Congress, she and other members of USA Gymnastics met with Senator Dianne Feinstein regarding the Federation's sexual assault policies, with the ultimate aim of blocking the bill. Medical Conditions Retina was born with hip dysplasia, a condition that her years as a competitive gymnast aggravated. After experiencing increased pain from the condition, she underwent hip replacement surgery on her left hip in her middle 30s. In October of 2008, by which time she had reached the age of 40, she visited the Biomet facility in Warsaw, Indiana, and there met the machinists who had produced her hip implant. Gymnastics Legacy Retton's routine on the uneven parallel bars included a move that came to be called the Retton Flip. This consisted of a transition from low to high bar resulting in the gymnast perched or sitting on top of the high bar. This move, and many others like it, were removed from the code of points of artistic gymnastics due to old style, barely beat, moves having ceased to be used in bars competitions. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?